What's up? Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. This is going to be a quick tip on different warp modes. Um, I had a question about it on Facebook and I figured I might as well share this information with everybody because some people might not know. Um, warp modes can be found here in the sample window. If you don't see the sample window, you click this little audio looking button here. Um, and then you come over here to beats and these are the different warp modes and when I hover over beats we're gonna look at the info window real quick and if you don't see the info window you wanna click this little arrow to show it and in the info window it shows us that it gives us a little description of each type of warp mode today we're gonna focus on beats and complex pro so beats mode is for rhythmic audio and complex pro is for whole songs or complex audio so if you are going to be doing a remix of a track or if you're going to be using live as a DJ tool or a live performance tool then you're gonna want to use uh, beats or complex pro so right now I've got a track in here if we listen it's a remix I did of dub pistols uh, mucky weekend and the original track that I've made here is at 92 BPM and if we look at the project BPM it's at 92 as well but if I wanted to say mix in a track a bunch of tracks that are at 85 BPM uh, I'd want to switch my project BPM to 85 if there's more tracks at that BPM so um, what I'm gonna do is pull it from 92 down to 85 and we're gonna listen to how the audio gets degraded on the beats warp mode so let's listen so as you can hear that is unacceptable in a live performance atmosphere or whatever so what I'm gonna do now is play it on beats for a minute and then I'm gonna switch the uh, the warp mode to complex pro and we're gonna hear the huge beautiful difference so here we go so you can hear the difference there's a huge difference uh, the track sounds slowed down but it doesn't sound all glitched out and crazy uh, there's a couple of things to know about complex pro and first if you're using complex pro it boosts the audio so you will have to either bring the velocity down inside of here or the track velocity depending on you know what you're using it for the other one too is complex pro uses uh, a ton more cpu than beats so if i'm going to be using this in my live set and i know i'm going to be using it at its original bpm it's the best idea to have it on beats because then i can still warp the track uh, a little bit to make sure it's still on time but uh, it won't use up a ton of CPU. But if I'm going to be, if I know I'm going to be changing the BPM of this track inside my live set, then I need to have it on Complex Pro. Uh, if you have a huge set with hundreds of tracks that you need to have loaded in live and ready to go, then it's a good idea to pre-warp your tracks. So if I know that I have, you know, 20 tracks at 85 BPM and I really want to use this track at 85 BPM, it's a good idea to open it up in its own project, warp it out, change the project BPM to 84 and then export the file and then re-import the exported file into the live project to use at 84 and then I can leave it on beats and I won't be worried about the CPU problem. Um, other than that, should be good to go. I hope that information helps you guys. Again, if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook. And also, you can go download this track for free if you want it. Anyway, we'll see you next time.